Welcome to Lothar's Guitar School and Lesson 8 of Sight Reading for Guitar based on the Ensemble Workbook by the Berklee College of Music. And you can get all the PDFs for free at uh, lotharsguitarschool at gmail.com. And here we go. And of course you can do these uh, exercises on uh, electric guitar or like I do today on an acoustic guitar. Um, on page 43 we have a recapitulation of the major scales, the four most important major scales in the second position. And let's look at it. The A major scale has an overstretched pinky, so uh, we reach the G sharp. So it is one, two, three, four. And the D major scale starts with the pinky on the A string fifth fret. One, two, three, four. And the G major scale starts with the second finger on the E string. One, two, three, four. C major scale on the A string third fret with the second finger. One, two, three, four. They should be familiar to you after having practiced this in the last few weeks. Now we move up to the fifth position. The same fingerings, just three frets up. So the E major scale, uh, sorry, the A major scale becomes a C major scale and looks as follows. One, two, three, four. The D major scale becomes the F major scale. One, two, three, four. The G major scale becomes the B flat major scale. One, two, three, four. And the E flat major scale is derived from the C, three frets up. One, two, three, four. On page 44 we play the intervals of the newfound scales in the fifth position. And uh, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Exercise two in the key of C. One, two, one, two, three, four. Number three in the key of E flat. One, two, one, two, three, four. Exercise four in the key of F. One, two, one, two, three, four. of G. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Okay, that was page 44. On page 45, get used to the scales in the fifth position. The first one is in the key of B flat. One, two, one, two, three, four. And the second one is in the key of C. One, two, one, two, three, four. The third one is in the key of E flat. One, two, one, two, three, four. The fourth one is in the key of F. One, two, one, two, three, four. one is in the key of G. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's it for page 45. On page 46, uh, more exercises, fifth position, different keys, and we have eighth notes. Remember, always play on the downbeat, the downstroke, and on the end, play an upstroke. And here we go. First one in the key of B flat. One, two, one, two, three, four. Second one is in the key of C. One, two, one, two, three, four. Third one and the key of E flat. One, two, one, two, three, four. Fourth one in the key of F. One, two, one, two, three, four. Fifth one, key of G. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. That's it for page 46. On page 47 we deal with chromatics uh, in the five keys that we've had in the fifth position so far. And I usually understretch the index finger when I go up and I overstretch the pinky when I go down. So it's and going down it's That helps uh, to get into the position again. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. The second exercise in the key of C, same procedure. Two, one, two, three, four. Okay, and the third exercise.
exercise. We are the key of E flat. One, two, one, two, three, four. Exercise in the key of F. One, two, one, two, three, four. one in the key of G. One, two, one, two, three, four. it for chromatics on page 47. On page 48 we have a song that combines most of the things that we've learned so far and so let's look at it first. So it's in the key of F and we played in the fifth position. Could be played in the second as well but we stay in the fifth. And it's in 4-4 time. The form is we have a first ending and repeat to the second ending and then it looks like a B section and at the end the first eight bars are repeated again. In terms of melodic things, yes we have a, a F sharp and a G sharp that, and a lot of sharps and a B and a C sharp in uh, the B section. So we could play that staying in position We could play it, when I see this, it's actually in the key of E, I could play it a half step down. Then that's in the position, in the fourth position completely. But that's about it. Uh, okay, there is an arpeggio in the fifth bar, which is always a little difficult to play. So let's look at that first. Okay, and that's about it in difficulties. So I'd say we should do it now. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's it for page 48. That was lesson 8 of Sightreading for Guitar. I hope you liked it. I uh, hope to see you soon again at Lothar's Guitar School. And you can get all the PDFs for free at lotharsguitarschool at gmail.com. 
Hope to see you soon again. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care and bye-bye.